may own a Tacoma, but are you a truck fanatic? Well, good morning, everybody. How are you today? Pretty good here. So you may own a Toyota Tacoma, but are you really a truck fanatic? You know, I went out, I did a little bit of research and came up with some questions and things that apparently we can use to determine whether or not we're truck fanatics. So first of all, let's get a little bit of the statistics out of the way. What's the age range of a truck owner, of a truck fanatic? Apparently, and of this survey, I guess, 17% are 65 and over. And you know, if you're 65 years old and older and you're crawling up in and out of a truck, you probably are a fanatic. 17%, a tie, are 35 to 44. 19% are 45 to 54. 20% are 55 to 64. And 27% are 18 to 34. So the biggest percentage age range of truck fanatics is 18 to 34 years old. Now, what are men and what are women? What are the percentages? Well, 54% are men and 46% are women. Now, what would you give up? These are some questions that were asked, right? Of the potential truck fanatics. What would you give up for an entire year before you'd give up your truck? Well, 82% said streaming services. I assume that means like Netflix or Hulu or Vudu or whatever. 79% said alcohol. They'd quit drinking for a year, I guess. 71% said coffee, no more coffee. I wouldn't have a problem with that one. 47% uh, says using a phone. So they wouldn't use their phone for a year. 44% said eating meat. Wow, I don't know if I could give up eating meat for a year. I, I like to have me a good steak once in a while, you know? And 38% said having the boom chicka wow wow. You know what I'm saying? Huh? This is a G-rated channel. 38% said they'd give up relations for a year. Um, third on the list here is, uh, do you have a tattoo? Apparently, 15% of owners, of truck owners, have a tattoo of their truck or related to their truck. So I guess some people put a, a picture of their truck maybe, or maybe it says Tacoma or Toyota or Yoda, or Taco, I don't know, something. Uh, I am not one of those. I do, of course, have the old tattoos, but I don't have uh, I don't have a tattoo of my truck or anything truck-related. Next up, truck owners are helpful. Apparently, 94% have used their trucks to help others. 34% use their trucks weekly to help others. Now, I gotta say, uh, that must not be a truck fan there. I don't know. But I got to say, I can't think of a time recently I've used my truck to help anybody. There have been some times in the past where I've picked up things or stuff like that. You know, maybe picked up a TV at uh, the TV place or whatever, something like that. But nothing recently for me. Um, let's see. Regarding the switch to electric trucks. You know, I did a video about the uh, upcoming seems to be the upcoming electric Tacoma, and I'm talking about all electric here. Uh, and there were a lot of people who didn't dig that. Uh, so let's say, uh, let's see, 38% said they'd switch if there was no loss of power, capability, or functionality. So the truck would have to be at least what it is now, or even better, I'm assuming. 37% said they'd make a switch if there were enough charging stations. I agree with that. I think that's one of the things that I touched on in my video. 35% said they'd switch if maintenance costs were lower. So they're looking for a lower cost of ownership. And you know, I didn't really consider that uh, so much when I did my little video about the Tacoma, but you know, it makes a lot of sense. You know, you're not gonna be changing oil. You're not gonna be putting gas in. You are going to be buying electric. You're not gonna have any other type of you know, wear maintenance, I suppose, other than whatever the electric motor might take and the batteries. And I know a lot of these companies are warranting the batteries for like 10 years. 
So you're probably going to be covered for as long as you'd own that vehicle anyway, but who knows? How does your truck make you feel? Time to get touchy feely. Most popular responses are capable, accomplished, proud, self-reliant, makes sense since you don't have to have somebody else haul your stuff or rent something to haul your stuff, and dependable. I guess that's in helping other people. You could depend on them to uh, help you move your apartment or whatever. I don't know. Other truck facts, other things that were mentioned here about the truck fanatic. 25% of owners have named their trucks. Uh, a couple of the popular names were Bertha, uh, Big, followed by whatever color it is, Big Red, Big Blue, Big Purple, I, whatever color you have. Um, I've never named any vehicle, to be honest. It's, for me, it, I don't know, I guess it's an inanimate object and it just doesn't make sense for me to name it. Not to say there's anything wrong if you do, um, pretty neat thing if you feel that connected to it, I guess. Trucks have appeared in over 3,000, over 3,000 TV shows and movies. Uh, there are more than 180 popular songs featuring trucks or songs about trucks. The one that comes to mind right now isn't even a truck, but it's Hot Rod Lincoln. You ever hear the song Hot Rod Lincoln? It's old. It's older than me. Uh, but that's the one that pops up as far as vehicles go, I guess. Uh, now, this is interesting. Ford, I know, the dreaded F word. Ford was even featured on a United States postal stamp in 2016. They must have had somebody in the government on that one because, you know, we have a lot of big companies in this country. We've got Apple. We've got the McDonald's. We've got the Wendy's. You name it. We've got a ton of them here. So why haven't we seen a Whopper or a chicken nugget, I guess, on a postal stamp, you know? I mean, if we're gonna put a Ford, I assume it was probably an F-150, uh, certainly not the Ranger, on a postal stamp, let's have a Big Mac on there or something, maybe a Whopper, I don't know. Anyway, I just thought this was uh, pretty interesting. Um, am I a truck fanatic, a Tacoma fanatic? Well, I think it's probably pretty obvious, isn't it? I mean, I've had umpteen trucks during my lifetime so far. Uh, I make my living talking about trucks uh, on the internet, either the Toyota Tacoma or the Jeep Gladiator I have outside. So yeah, I, I kind of guess I would probably fall in the truck fanatic category. How about you? Where do you fall? Do any of these things apply to you? Do you feel any of those ways about your truck? I'd be curious to know. Leave a comment. Also, real quick, I do have two additional channels. We've got Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. And Rob Motive Civic, about my experiences with the non-truck Honda Civic Type R and the Honda Civic Sport. Check them out. If you like them, please subscribe. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Happy trucking. Bye.